What of it? Wow. Imagine racing on a vertical wall just centimeters from disaster with nothing but a century old motorcycle between you and a deadly fall. I fall down, that's all broken. A profession so dangerous, it's dying out entirely. I think that's the last generation we are. But for those who ride the wall of death, broken bones, or even worse, simply won't deter them. I, I love this job. I love all of that. Meet Jagat Pereira, the Sri Lankan daredevil risking his life to keep alive the century-old art of defying death on two wheels. This is dangerous. Um, you have to be very... I, I don't have a NCT about this, but I have a, a very, very much respect for this. You have to know what you... what you 100% what you do there. As Jagat rides his vintage motorcycle around the eight-metre-high wooden cylinder, he seemingly defies gravity. You can't tell the extreme G-force being exerted on his body. Despite the big grin on his face, he's pushing himself and his machine to the limit, reaching speeds of up to 55 kilometres per hour. Austrian rider Mike Kamensind and Italian rider Davide Terenghi are joining him this year. That not everyone has feeling for the wall of the this gravity with this way. This is for the airplane, jet riders have all gravity. You ride for the autobahn, have a gravity, but this is others. And um, this is different feeling for the different people. Some people are really good with that, some people are really bad with that. The Wall of Death story began over a century ago in the early 1900s in the United States. Originating from carnivals and fairgrounds, motodromes became a gravity-defying spectacle, drawing large crowds eager to watch riders take on their vertical wooden walls. It wasn't long before this daredevil act spread across the globe, from the US to Europe, India and beyond. One of the most iconic walls of death in Europe, Pitt's Todeswand was founded in 1932 by German daredevil Peter Pitt Luffelhart and his colleague Ludwig Sieger. In 1935, Keta Kitty Müller joined them, becoming the first woman to ride the wall and perform acrobatics with Pitt. After World War II, Pitt's Todeswand returned, becoming a symbol of post-war revival at Munich's Oktoberfest. The tradition continues to this day. For over 90 years, the wall has wowed the crowds. And, as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is some wood, uh, 1932, some wood. Uh, some wood was new, like this one. Uh, I like to try, I try to hold the uh, historical old things like same. That's why I change something broken, then I change like original. In the days before the thrill begins, there's a different kind of tension. The wall of death doesn't just appear overnight. It's built with weathered hands, wooden planks and a lot of coffee. It's a race against the clock. Hundred percent finish. This is eight days and good six people. Before the audience arrives, before the engines roar, the wall of death must pass a rigorous safety inspection by Germany's TÜV. The Technical Inspection Association ensures that every element from the wood structure to the motorcycles meets strict safety standards. Without this, the show wouldn't even be allowed to open. These century-old wooden walls tell a story of thrills, chills and risks faced by generations of riders. Yeah, this work, you have to do this. Yeah, we have a... Um, 
to open Friday. Tomorrow inspection, there's something to do, you have to do. Not sitting in the caravan and sleeping, no. That is work. That's just work. I have no problem. I will make them with uh, snow. I have to do then I do this. I have a plan always. Most of is uh, good. Sometimes a little bit problem, but most of is good. The pre-opening week is brutal. The team works through unforgiving weather, cold, rain and mud. There's no room for error. The walls need to be perfect, and so do the bikes. With the modern roller coasters just next door, how does this 90-year-old attraction keep running? For my old boss, uh, Hugo Dabert, he's the same guy, he, same. I, uh, it's never mind which weather. Or I was young, he uh, liked me father, in Germany, uh, he teach me many things. Or I am the guy always thinking positive, no negative. Jagat's energy keeps the team motivated, even when the weather beats them down or after grueling hours on the wall. His passion is infectious. And it's this spirit that makes the Wall of Death come alive year after year. To brave the Wall of Death, riders need more than skill. They need the perfect machine. The Indian Scout has a very special history with the Wall of Death. Bikes from Indian motorcycles were among the first to be used in these daredevil performances. This bike is very special, 1926. Two years later, this is 100 years old, but it's still running very well. Jagat rides some of the most iconic motorcycles in the world, from the Indian Scout to the Harley Davidson. These bikes, carefully maintained, carry Jagat just centimetres away from disaster at over 50 kilometres per hour. I changed the tyre because this side I ride almost four years. This looks like now. Now uh, I changed it for this side, then I think he hold maybe four years. Yeah. This is very, a little bit hard tyre, hide now. Normally I like to have uh, in the cold, I need a little bit soft tyre. Uh, getting uh, very uh, fast, uh, warm. I have uh, one time in Basel, I go down because the tire was very cold. The absence of helmets is immediately striking. This tradition, rooted in both practicality and showmanship, heightens the thrill for the audience by amplifying the sense of danger. Without helmets, riders retain better peripheral vision. Though risky, this practice endures, preserving the raw, daring essence of the wall of death. But Jagat also embraces the future. This year come new electric Kawasaki and uh, hybrid. New generation don't like, some people don't like old bike, they like to have a new one. Then I like to make October every, every year some special uh, because for the public. Home. That's why new generation come something, oh, e-bike or uh, hybrid or uh, electric car. I like to make always something uh, different. Whether it's the roar of a 1926 Indian Scout or the quiet hum of a modern hybrid, Jagat's machines are here to do one thing, defy gravity and thrill audiences. Jagat's journey to the Wall of Death was unconventional. Born in Sri Lanka, his passion for motorcycles began with a Honda. 
I was a, a little bit crazy guy in Sri Lanka, motocross. On my city, all know I drive very fast. I have this time 250cc Honda. That is the Sri Lanka, you cannot uh, license uh, more than 250, 250 because the police bike is 400. I'm crazy about the bikes. Little did he know, this love for speed would take him to Germany through a chance meeting with legendary Wall of Death rider Hugo Dabert. Hugo Dabert, he was in Sri Lanka holiday. And then I, I met uh, with uh, Hugo uh, four days uh, later in December 1995. And he asked me to show the pictures. Oh, I am very interesting because Wall of Death, really Wall of Death here in Europe, in Sri Lanka, as it's not real one. I see this, the pictures, I say, wow. So I like to try. Then I'm in here in Germany in 1996, I'm here. And then I learned for one year all the riding, trick riding, car, all. Uh, Hugo teach me very, very good. And then after two years, I am the acrobatic rider in the wall of death. And now I doing this job 28 years. Now I am an owner for the two walls death in Germany. The scar on Jagat's face is a reminder of the wall's dangers. I have a one time in Hamburger Dome, I fall down, that's all broken. In the wall you have a gravity. And then you come down, then you get automatic gravity, just second out. Then you get dizzy. That's why you need more experience. And that's, I think, you need the feeling for this. In 2007, Jagat took over Pitt's Torders Vant continuing a legacy that began in 1932. For him, it's more than a business, it's a calling. I make everything electric, I make mechanic. Yeah. I do everything here. It's a tough gig. Supported by his team of stunt riders and MCs, Jagat must hustle day and night, every 30 minutes, to entice potential spectators to come in and see the show. It helps that Jagat is a natural showman. On the rollers outside, he shows what acrobatics can be expected inside. Each performance puts him in physical danger. High G-force can cause tunnel vision, temporary blindness, blackouts. But for him, it's worth the risk. I love this job. I love all of that. This is, I think, it's my life. Now, now, 28 years, more than half life, my, I ride in the wall. It's my life. I, I don't think about, oh, I have to change something, no. It's okay, I'm happy. For a modest entrance fee, you can experience something truly old school, up close and in person. That may be too much for some who wince with every lap, but the wall of death has stood the test of time. As new attractions come and go, it offers something modern rides cannot. But how long can Jagat and his Todesvand keep going? As of 60 is a good age for the riding with the acrobatic. Till 60, this is good. Around riding, I can ride till 80, I think. But I like to ride for acrobatic, then when I stop, then I stop. I'm acrobatic rider, I stay acrobatic rider, I stop the acrobatic rider, finito. Not more, I'm not going back, normal riding, no. I stop acrobatic, then I stop all of it. With a lack of younger riders coming through, can the Wall of Death survive for another century? I think that the last generation we are, but this uh, Wall of Death now already 100 years. That is three generations. We are the number three. Sad, I'm not sad about this, but I understand what is life is. The more older we need the uh, very good condition for the Wall of Death riding. Without condition, no. Mm -mm. 
Could Jagat's daughter carry on the tradition? I don't know. She's now 17. She make now motorbike license. Uh, I don't know. When she have a really interest in, and then I can teach her. But I wait for she tell Papa I like this. Then yes, I don't like to pressure. The Wall of Death is more than just a show. It's a global phenomenon kept alive by riders like Jagat, one of the last generation of daredevils who continue this tradition from Germany to India. Though the walls may differ, the thrill remains the same. Jagat Pereira rides the Wall of Death not for money or fame, but for the love of the wall itself. A passion that transcends time and danger, keeping a dying tradition alive with every lap. I never hear one wall of the rider is a millionaire, no. I think not. <laughs> no, but we have a we have a fun, we live this job. Every day. I'm very happy I have the wall of death rider. I'm very happy. Like what you saw? Then ride the wave of adrenaline and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Rev for more content like this.